Hi, I'm Natalie with another In The Mix and today is all about how do you soften your lips, right? We want them beautiful, soft and soothing and we know that when seasons change the lips can feel a bit dry, maybe you're doing a lot more outdoor activities, so just having the wind nearby can also cause a little bit of havoc on the lips. So we want to consider how do we take care of our lips and one way to do it is to do what I like to call a little mini facial for our lips. So you're going to follow the same kind of steps you would do for your face is that we want to make sure that lip area has been cleansed and we want to be able to do a bit of an exfoliation and we're going to show you how to do a bit of a lip mask today and how do you protect and just make sure that beautiful moisture and hydration is left behind afterwards and then of course if you want to just increase an uptake from there you can do some stimulating treatments you can plump up the lips you can add your favorite lip color afterwards for longer and better staying power so first of all I want to first begin with of course you're going to cleanse the lip area so that can be done easily with just any cleanser that you have the key is just make sure it's free of any type of um, residue do that might be left over from any other cosmetic or lip product that you normally wear. And I'm going to show you two different ways that you can exfoliate the lip area if you don't happen to have a lip mask, but I do highly recommend using a beautiful exfoliant, pardon me, lip exfoliant. Jumped ahead of myself there. So we have a washcloth just a little bit of water that's all you need and why i like washcloths is that there's a bit of a texture on it so this is going to become more of like a mechanical type of exfoliation for your lip area but please don't push too hard i think some of us want to get in there and just really be aggressive you don't need to it's very delicate around the lip area so just on the tip of your finger as you can see here and i like to do you can do sweepings across but or just little mini circles and you can pretty much cover the entire surface of the lip so upper lip and then the lower lip and I go across for it just to wet it. So I go across like this. Very nice. And then on the bottom. And some of you might find this is enough. And then you always get a little tester. Feeling good. And then again, little micro circles. And now I'm going to go kind of on the edge of the lip. All the way around. And then again in the center. There we go. And then a final sweep. And you should feel it. It might be even a little bit stimulated because you've given some friction. So you might feel the lips give a little bit of, it feels like it's tingly a little bit, bringing up some of that blood, which is a good thing. Now, product wise, we have our fabulous lip trio. Can't wait to show you. And this is going to be a mechanical with enzymatic. And it's a beautiful gel, has a nice kind of like minty, very fresh, and it's going to give me a little bit of cooling as well. Just to, so you see this little guy right here? We're going to use a very small amount. So I have the spoon spoon, but I'm just going to use the edge of it so I don't overdo it because, again, you're just working on a very small area, right? Your lip. So I'm going to grab a little bit of my product here. So that's a very small amount, super small. Put it on the top of your hand so you have more control. And just like how you apply eye cream, you want to use a, a finger that has not a lot of pressure but enough to get the job done. So I recommend our ring finger. Do a little swirly and almost immediately you're going to feel a little bit of granule. That's that physical. And we're going to, I first apply it just like you do with a lip balm. So I go across, just like that. The balm here, very nice. Now try not to lick your lips. <laughs> going to sound a little bit funny right now. <laughs> just like, very glamorous, very glamorous. Okay. I recommend just let it sit, I don't know, sing happy birthday in your head a couple times. Allow the mask, the exfoliation, and the beautiful ingredients to do their work. It's going to get that hydration going and start to really soften and remove any of the dead skin buildup that is on the lip area. First again, now let's do the set for a couple times. Happy birthday a couple times. Now I'm going to take the same finger and I'm going to do little micro circles just like I did with the washcloth. So we're going to go from the outside to the center, outside to the center. So a little L here, stop, here. Now I go across the line, which is really great for any of those fine lines that you see around the lip area. And then again on the bottom, outside to the middle, outside to the middle, and then sweep. And then do nice, gentle circles until 
it becomes a little bit tacky. That's my little signal. All right. Oh, it feels great. Now, you can do two things. You can take your washcloth again and remove, which I will be doing today, or you can just add it part of your regular routine. I could do a full exfoliation treatment on my face at the same time. So you could look at it as incorporating it into your existing face routine. So here we go, got the coverage there. Now I'm just going to remove. Again, being very careful that you're not rubbing too much, okay? Nice removal, nice and gentle. Oh yeah, that feels great. Oh, beautiful, mm, love it. So I got some circulation going on. Lips feel really good, a little bit plump almost. That's pretty good, I don't mind that. I like to have a little plumping. So let's plump it further and we're now gonna apply a mask for the lip. Yes, masks for the lips exist. And they're really good because they help replenish all that moisture back into the lip area quite quickly now that we've done the exfoliation. And the fact that some of you may not know, we actually don't have any oil glands on our lips. So we actually don't produce oils or natural moisture on the lips. So we do need to encourage that moisture to be there. So a really good way to do that is you can mask the lip. Now this whole treatment you could do a couple times a week if you like, or you can just put it as part of your um, daily routine if you really wanted to, just depending on what you're in for. So this is also a beautiful cream textured mask. And it's very creamy. So this is not going to be like our traditional eminence mask. This is going to feel more like a moisturizer, but you can do two things with it, which I love. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the lip exfoliant. I'm going to use the same finger and I'm going to warm it. Remember, warming before you apply is very helpful. And I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I can just apply it like a lip balm. So I'm going to go across. Beautiful. In the bottom. Oh yeah, give it a little love. Now I do tend to like to do a little bit of a micro massage. This literally means just doing little tiny circles, okay? So what we're trying to do is we want to work it into the skin as much as we can. So little circles across it. Remember, go around the lip line, so the outside, and then you want to go on the inside. So you really can help um, affect any of those signs of aging that we might have just circling around the lip area. So go right across, yeah, very nice. Now, for any of my professionals there, if you also want to advance in doing a lip massage type of style, you can do that and same with at home. What I do here is just you want to do a little bit more of a firm pressure and that'll be a beautiful massage technique to help soften out any visible fine lines. So that could be an option as well for all of you. Uh, so this could stay on, mm, I love it, it's super silky. It can stay on the skin or on the lip area for a few minutes, like up to five minutes if you like, or if you really do a good job and massage it right in and let it absorb, you can just leave it on, which is really amazing um, because it's more of that cream texture. But for the demonstration purposes for today, I'm going to remove it so that we can do that final step. So if you do choose to leave it on, this is something I recommend for when you go to sleep. So if you're really into sleep masks or treatments that you can put on your lips before or your face before you go to bed, this is definitely a winner. I would go there for sure. So I don't have to wipe it off, but I'm just gonna pat it down just so that I don't have so much of a build. Uh, I'm not building too many products on top of each other. So just a little dab. Doing my little testers to see how slippery it is. Mmm, that feels much better. There we go. So already, what I'm feeling is a beautiful softening. I can feel that hydration starting to drop into my lip area and almost giving me a little bit more of a pout, which is pretty great. So now, once you've finished your exfoliating and masking step, you're ready to do your leave-on finishing products. And if you wanna have that plump and smooth lip, we have a fabulous product to be using next, and that is our gorgeous uh, Marine Flower Peptide Lip Serum. And has a really cool applicator that when you use it, it's gonna be massaging the lip area and really enhancing that plumping effect. So I'm gonna demonstrate this for you right now. So you'd only need to just give a little micro squeeze so you just have a little bit that comes out. You don't need to use too much. And then I just apply it a lot like a lip balm. I'm just gonna go around my lip and then I'm gonna massage it through afterwards. So you just begin to comfort 
Oh yeah, can I feel those little nodes? Really giving that little extra massage around my lip area. Just so nice. And it's very relaxing actually. And you're seeing me do little micro circles and then a sweep. Mmm. Very silky, beautiful texture. It absorbs really quite quickly and beautifully. I would allow the lip serum just a little few minutes, or not even a minute, actually about 30 seconds for it just to settle in before you're ready to do your final application of a lip product. And in this case, we have our beautiful citrus lip balm and I have our rosehip and lemongrass SPF. So if you wanna have a protective lip product at the very end, considering your daytime, it has an SPF 15 in it, which is fantastic. Our citrus lip balm, I'll tell you, I can't live without it. I've got about five of them. I got one in my bag, I got one in my purse, I got one in, you know, at home, um, uh, everywhere, actually, beside my television, like all there, because lips are something you wanna take care of. But one special thing I do love about our lip balm is because it is a balm, it is like a leave-on moisture and treatment for your lip. I really do find that if you do have chap lip issues, um, that they're flaking all the time, or you go through these acute patterns, sometimes our lips get really, really dry, and then they're super fine after that. If you want something that's gonna help right away, I can't say enough about our citrus lip balm. You put it on, it's like my lip moisturizer before I do any other lip products every single day, and I literally apply it like once in the morning and then maybe again at night. So again, thinking about it, it is a moisturizing treatment as well. It, oh, it does have that beautiful citrus scent as well. And it's a nice texture, a small amount, just like everything else at Eminence. Uh, you can warm it here, same idea. I use my ring finger, nice light, light pressure, warm it up and just apply it just like that. Nothing too fancy. If you love lip brushes and stuff, go for it. No problem. It's just me in my jar, so no cross-contamination either. And that mm, is a beautiful moisturized lip with an amazing moisturizing lip treatment with our fabulous Eminence Lip Trio. So I am so excited that I got a chance to spend time with you today to really give a beautiful effect. And maybe as a fun little bonus, those of you who love plumping your lips up, uh, we do have the beautiful cinnamon lip plumper. So if you wanna go the extra mile, is a beautiful lip oil, which goes beautiful on top of the citrus lip balm or before. So if you have a really well moisturized lip already, just go ahead, pop this on. It'll bring some beautiful plumping. If not, you can go right over the top for today. So you can do the same thing. Take your wand, apply it here. I know I'm just throwing this in as a bonus because you know, why not? And oh, if you love cinnamon, you're gonna fall in love with this too. Lip oil. Oh yeah. Oh, super silky. Mm. Reminds me a little bit of Valentine's Day. So there we are. I really hope you enjoyed all this today. I encourage you to take good care of your lips. Think it as that mini facial that you can add into your home care routine anytime you like. I'm Natalie with another In The Mix. I can't wait to see you next time. And as always, if you wanna see more of these, don't forget to hit the notification bell and subscribe to our channel. Catch you next time.